previous video, I actually was introducing formatting in general, and then we got sidetracked and we discovered that we could actually make combine light, colors of light in hexadecimal. But I won't go back into that now. Essentially, you can uh, format cells, format the things inside cells by coloring it, by putting in bold and so on and so forth. But we can also configure it so as it automatically formats it based on the number in based on what is written inside of it or the or the value of the number or something like this so <coughs> <coughs> sorry this is um this is called conditional formatting so let's imagine we have the words yes and no and we want it to we want the uh, the yes to act to automatically um uh, appear green and the no to automatically appear um, automatically appear red. So how do we do that? So what you do is we take the, the cells that we want to automatically change, like um, D, so I'm choosing D5 and D6. Uh, and then we click on format and we click on conditional formatting. And so formats at the top um, at the top middle, towards the middle left. And now automatically it's set to format cells if um, it is not empty, okay? So I've got here a format here that's uh, yes and no. It's automatically formatting to say, so it's choosing cells D5 and D6, and it's saying format cells if they're not empty. And they're not empty. Uh, so they're going to be green. Now, if I were to change uh, this, then it's not green because it is empty. So that's the automatically suggested format, but it doesn't have to be that way, of course. So I could say, no, I want you to format it if text contains, and you could also say text doesn't contain, starts with, ends with, is exactly. Um, so let's do uh, let's do text contains, and we're going to say if the text can text can. Uh, contains, and I can't remember if I have to actually, um, yes, I, I don't have to do the speech marks. So so you can see the um, the no is highlighted green now, and we wanted it to highlight red. So we can choose down here the formatting, just like we chose the formatting earlier on. Um, and we could, we could click on the word default and get a variety of different automatic options, or we could configure it ourselves. So maybe we can make the background red, and maybe get the uh, text to be uh, white and maybe get it bold as well if we like. Okay, so whenever we type um, um, no into either of these two cells now, they will um, go uh, red. Okay, so um, if I can type in no on that one and it goes red. So that's conditional formatting. We we're going to do yes as well, weren't we? So um, let's do yes and um, I've only selected D5, but that's fine. I can just do colon D6. Um, and this time we'll say, and rather than say text contains, we'll say text is exactly this time. Text is exactly yes. And we'll make this one a bright um, a bright green or like that sort of, well, yeah, not bright, but, you know, so as we can see white again against its background quite easily. Um and there it is now. So I think one of them is uh, text contains. There you go. One of them is exactly. So that means that, and this one, if I just typed in the word not, it still stays red because it does contain no. Whereas if I said um, yes, exclamation mark there, that doesn't because the, um, the green one is formatted to say it must be exactly the word yes. And the red one is just saying it contains. So I could also do it, it starts with, and so on and so forth. So you can actually um, change it um, to not be, what about if I wanted this cell um, to to actually, let's, let's put it in bold. Let's um, put a little border around it, which is also a type of formatting. What about if I wanted that cell to change based on the value of this cell, okay? How would I do that? So I'm going to use a different rule. I'm going to say add another rule. And this is only going to apply to cell F5. But I'm going to choose a different option now. I'm going to choose 
custom formula is. So where it says text ends with or something like that, you can change to custom formula is. And, and I could say, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an equal sign there. I'm going to say, uh, is D5, in fact, let's use an, let's, let's combine it with a couple of other things. Let's use or. So equals or bracket. And then we'll say um, D5, D5 um, equals uh, yes, comma. So uh, basically, I want you to do something if D5 equals yes. Or I need to do speech marks around the word yes. Tell Google Sheets it's a string. Or D6 is equal to yes. And and then basically, and there you go, one of them is yes, so it goes green. Uh, let's leave it like that for now, leave it as a default. So if either of them say yes, then, then F5 goes green. Um, so we can say, uh, so if I deleted that, then it wouldn't be um, yes. If they're both yes, then that one stays. But if if um, one of them is, is if neither of them are yes, then it doesn't go green. So that's a little bit of conditional formatting. There's a couple of other things you can do. Let's say that we had one, two, three, four, four. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, five. Um, we can add a nice... Um, automatic sort of conditional formatting when you click on color scale this time. And this time you can actually configure it to um, have automatic colors based on the size of the number. That's quite handy too. You can't do the color scale um, for one number. And I, so I couldn't, for example, get F5 to color based on the value of a different range. Color scale could only be applied to um, the cells the, the things that are inside the cells that we're formatting. Um, so there we go, we've got a nice color scale. However, you can sort of create your own color scale because you can just, just like um, just like we had over here, we've got no and yes, we could do a different color for zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously it takes a little bit longer. And then we could apply that format to a different cell over here. So that's the um, basics of conditional formatting. There's quite a lot more that we can take into account using some complex formulas, but that's just an introduction.